<sighs> Y'all in here still talking about, I see um, uh, all these conversations about top five, top four. Having Kobe four is wild. You're saying it's too high or too low. You're saying it's Kobe's top seven. Kobe top five is crazy, but top 10 is a must. Jordan said Kobe is one of the only players that could beat him because he's copied all his moves. Does somebody not have Kobe in their top 10? Is that why y'all are having this comment? Kobe easily top eight, name 10 players better than Kobe. Huh. Damn, you mean casual. Kobe's not top 10 from Huey? Huey O'Brien, Kobe not top 10? Uh, 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 I can't give you Kobe not top 10. I can't. I can't give you Kobe not. I get it. I, I understand that so many, there was this. I feel like there was almost this movement that was going on around an NBA discourse, probably like, what is it? 2013, 2023 now, maybe like towards the tail end of Kobe's career. So maybe like 2015, 2014, 2016, somewhere around there, there was this discourse of, and the reason I think you, it's got to be crazy to say Kobe's not top 10 is because this is why but forget what I was about to say about the disc. Cause this is what the discourse was. The conversation initially, right? Jordan was the GOAT. Let's do this. Jordan was the GOAT. Kobe comes along, three peats with Shaq, back to back with Powell. And the only other comparison that we ever had to MJ for real, for real, since MJ was when Kobe came around. So now everybody's comparing Kobe and MJ. So if everybody's comparing Kobe and MJ, I mean, everybody, ESPN. Bleacher Report, everybody at the barbershop. If everybody's comparing those two, if you're getting compared to the GOAT on a consistent basis, people are legitimately having arguments and conversation on who is better. To me, very overrated is crazy, Huey. Uh, <laughs> he's got to be top 10. If you compare it to the GOAT that much, he's got to be top 10. What I was saying is about this couple of years ago thing, the last years of his career, the conversation shifted from comparing Kobe to MJ to comparing LeBron to MJ. I think there was a consensus that LeBron had surpassed Kobe in terms of GOAT conversations. And I think in the process of LeBron over in most people's mind, it, 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 if you don't have it that way, that's well, yeah, whatever. But and I think in the process of LeBron passing Kobe in the GOAT conversation, I think a lot of people didn't take that as just LeBron passing Kobe, but somehow also Kobe getting plucked out of the GOAT conversation and slid way down, way out of it. I don't really know when that happened exactly or how that happened exactly, but that's kind of what I saw. So I get Huey saying that. I disagree, obviously. Kobe is definitely top 10. Um, but I, I, I think that just... I don't know, is somewhere in the process of LeBron catching up to Jordan, I feel like the whole world just forgot about Kobe and just said he's not him. I don't, I don't know. You don't get the name the Black Mamba for nothing. People don't yell Kobe when they crumble up a piece of paper and throw it in the trash for nothing. Like, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. 